Hello learners, welcome to the practical series and I am Dr. Poonam Agarwal, I am author of this practical book in biochemistry. Today I will be talking to you regarding glucose oxidase and peroxidase method of glucose assessment in the biological field. For this test, we need one glucose oxidase peroxidase reagent. This reagent is having two enzymes, so glucose oxidase peroxidase, one substrate of the dye that is 4-amino antipyrin. These are mixed in the phenol substrate and this is the stable at room temperature. And what other things we require? We require little distilled water, we require glucose standard solution which is 100 milligram per deciliter of glucose standard solution and this is the test solution in which the glucose is to be estimated. How are we going to do this test? We take three test tubes and we mark them as blank, standard and test test tube. You can see the marking here. And each of these three tubes, we have to take 2 ml of the glucose oxidase reagent and pour in individual tubes. You have to be careful in measuring the amount of the reagent and 2 ml of reagent is poured in each of these tubes. I have already poured these reagents, 2 ml of glucose oxidase peroxidase reagent in this. Now have to place these tubes in the test tube holder. And after this, we are going to use this micro pipette. This is the micro pipette which is set at 20 microliter. Right? And we have to take 20 microliter of distilled water and pour it in the glucose oxidase region placed in the blank tube. Change the tip, use this micro pipette again, and take 20 microliter of a standard. Glucose is standard which is 100 mg per deciliter, pour it in the standard tube, change the tip and again use 20 microliter of the test solution and that is to be placed in the test, test tube containing reagent and then you have to mix it thoroughly. Be careful that you mix it thoroughly and the standard solution or the test solution which you have added or the distilled water which you have added is not sticking to the ball of the tube. And uh, so you have to do careful pouring of these materials in the test tube. And leave it for 15 minutes at room temperature. And what you will see, you will see, I have already kept this which is processed. And you can see the pink color in the test solution and as well as in the tube which is having a standard solution. This is the pink color which is being developed, slight pink color, slight to, you know, pinkish tinge you can get even in the blank tube which is just having the reagent and no test or standard solution. This is due to impurity of the reagent which is giving you this sort of pink color. The blank is being used in all the quantitative assessments in biochemistry practicals to rule out, to deduct the color of the reagent which is being developed because in this a method of assessment, we are using the concept of uh, colorimetric principle and we are measuring the color which is developed by the colored dye. So the blank tube, whatever the color is being developed, that is nullified by adjusting the mark of colorimeter to zero and after that, that uh, assessment of OD, of a standard and test solution is being done. Taking this OD, that is absorbance, we calculate the amount of glucose in the given test solution because already we know that 100 milligram per deciliter of the solution will give what OD and so depending upon the OD which is developed in the test tube which is having the test solution we can find out mathematically how much glucose is present in this test solution. Alright, so this in brief is the principle of uh, and methodology how the glucose oxidase peroxidase method is being used to assess the glucose. It's a very specific test because we are using the enzyme glucose oxidase which is going to act only on the glucose and no other substrate. So chances of false positive result is very very minimal. So thank you very much for more such videos and information. You can subscribe to YouTube channel. Thank you.